Hello guys, what is up it's Space? Welcome back to Blaze with Blaze. Okay, so sadly, no, I am not somewhere at a beach circa 1970. I'm in my apartment in Los Angeles, but we are talking about bathing suits, talking about swimsuits, talking about those little pieces of fabric in vibrant ass colors or muted ass colors to each their own that we throw upon our bodies in the summer and rock out into the world or this summer in the comfort of our own homes. So if you are new to my channel, I make multiple videos a week all about thrifting and fashion, sustainable style, getting down to the damn get down, being your fabulous ass self and letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole. So if that sounds like a vibe that you would like to be on make sure to hit subscribe down below today we are talking about a little bit of thrifting we are talking about a little bit of vintage we are talking a little bit about sustainable brands or brands moving in more of a sustainable direction all surrounding swimwear bathing suits such an interesting like facet of clothing if you will I feel like swimwear in general is like the one category of clothing that we tie so so closely or so many of us tie so so closely to our bodies how we perceive our bodies and how we think others are gonna perceive our bodies when we do wear these swimsuits out into the world. So since the concept of bathing suits and swimmer in general kind of elicits different emotions in everyone, myself included, I asked you guys on my Instagram, at Miss Yeleni, on my story a couple of days ago, what the first word or couple of words are that first come to your mind when you hear the word swimsuit or swimwear or bikini or bathing suit. And this is everything that you guys had to say. Now these responses really varied, which I assumed that they would. Some literally had me laughing my titties off and some made me really, really bummed because I related so hard to them. You guys that responded with words like not skinny enough or don't have a thigh gap or scared or intimidated, things like that. Like I totally feel you because I lived in that world for so damn long. My eating disorder and body dysmorphia and own like body image journey that I was on when I was younger, like it completely held me back from like ever wanting to wear any bathing suits that I thought were cute, ever even honestly wanting to put one on. I just remember always dreading it. And that's coming from me who I know I have a lot of thin privilege. I operate from a place of thin privilege if I'm okay with my body, chances are when I walk out into the world, no one's going to fight me back on that. And I just wanted to acknowledge that and acknowledge your guys' maybe not so great feelings around bathing suits in general because I completely get it. I just want every single one of you watching this to know that regardless of what you look like, you're amazing. Your body, still beautiful, but least interesting thing about you. I want to flip the narrative on bathing suits and I want us to focus more on what we're doing in the bathing suits, who we're with, what we're saying, what music we're listening to, what dance moves we are doing. I mean, if we can shimmy in the suit, it's gonna be a good ass time. I want us to take the focus off of our bodies and what other people are thinking about our bodies and put it more on those more important things. This summer, I am personally focusing on swimsuits that I actually like because like I said before, I never have been into swimsuits in the past. They've always been like a facet of fashion that I stayed away from and never even tried to figure out like what I liked, like what styles I liked. So I am so excited today that I have five fabulous as beautiful as a queen, yes, 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 bathing suits to share with you guys some that are vintage one from the thrift store and two from two brands that I really really like we are going to jump right into it we are going to have a good ass time these bathing suits are wild and crazy and so so fun because I realized that every single swimsuit I've ever owned in my entire life has been such a bore snore like literally as spicy as a piece of Wonder Bread and that that will just not do anymore summer 2020 our sparkles are shining even if it's just from indoors um, so we're gonna jump right into this. I am so excited to share these bathing suits with you guys We are going to start off with this one down here I'm just gonna like pull it out of my secret secret zone So I knew that coming into this I wanted a couple of vintage styles I wanted something very 80s and something very 90s. This was one of the first things I found on Etsy I literally typed in I think like 80s vintage bikinis The one thing is with buying vintage bikinis and thrifting them obviously is that you have to like filter until you can find one that is semi your size. I wasn't really sure what my size would be in a vintage bikini, so I just went for it. And I will of course have all the shops that I purchased from linked down below. But this orange little strapless number was first up and I was absolutely so excited to try it on. Okay guys, so I have the orange suit on, the strapless situation. And I figured before I flip it around to the mirror for a full body shot, I would show you guys kind of like how it lays from this angle. So this, not a very high-waisted cut, which isn't like my favorite type of style. I definitely like a high-waisted cut and the top I love the top okay so wow yes this top let's just like break it down with this top for a second it is unlike any strapless bathing suit top I've ever 
had before. It gives me like the illusion of those like very 80s Art Deco shells, which you guys know I'm very into 80s, very into Art Deco. Not so much into shells decor wise, but I will take them on my titties. The fit is nice and the color is what I love the most about this suit. It's not the most special thing in the world, but I do love that it's vintage. I love that it's 80s and I truly, yeah, I love this orange. It's like, hello, I'm here. However, when the bathing suit is a little bit plain, a little bit just boring, if you will, I'm sure it's no surprise that I love to throw on a good shimmy shake top and this one just in this like amazing kind of brown zebra print I thought went perfectly with the orange of this bathing suit and then oh wait Queens there is a new pair of sunnies in town and they go perfectly with this Luke okay next suit moving on next we are going to hit up this one from Etsy guys you are all gonna straight die over this. This is Night at the Roxbury, personified to the max. There's literally a scene at Night at the Roxbury, and I know I reference this movie just like way too often, but you guys, they get it, you get it. There's a scene at Night at the Roxbury where Doug and Steve are making their way down the beach. They are doing what's up, what's up to all the ladies. And the said ladies in that clip seem to have these fabulous, fabulous high-waisted 90s bottoms on. Like the second I saw this on Etsy, guys, I literally screamed out loud. I had to have it. It was this perfect little green, like shimmery, iridescent, but like also checkerboard situation. I mean, but the second I saw these diaper bottoms, like I knew that they had to be mine. I knew it was like the 90s high waist of my dreams. And then like, hi, hello, this little bra top. Absolutely, yes. Oof, so like I just said, this is a suit out of my damn dreams, guys, except it is a little bit too big for me. I feel like you can tell that it's a little bit too big for me in the cup area, kind of in the bottoms as well, but like they are so high-waisted, they are so diaper booty, and I gotta show you more. Okay, now, yes. This obviously is a 90s dream that threw up on my body. It is so beautiful. I mean, it's barely even picking up on camera how amazing this like checkerboard, but like sheen sparkly print is. I'm just in love with this. It is the most high-waisted thing I've ever had on my body. It screams Night at the Roxbury. It screams Doug and Steve. It screams Blazed and Glazed, Macy Lenny to the absolute max, and diaper booty for days. I love this so much, and I'm so bummed because I feel like this is one that I'm going to have to sell. It's just, it doesn't fit me perfectly, which is obviously the risk you run when buying vintage bikinis. Maybe I will sell the top and keep the bottoms because I could honestly never see myself getting rid of this bottom situation. This is all I've ever wanted in a bikini. And guys, when I say diaper booty action, and I'm about to expose my half tanned, quite literal ass, diaper booty, diaper booty. So yeah, sadly this was like a half win, half fail. I mean, let's call it an overall win because this bathing suit's absolutely iconic. Like, I wanna know what the woman who owned this before me, like I wanna know what she did, I wanna know where she was going, I wanna know who she was because she was obviously a beautiful ass queen. On to the next. This next suit is so exciting because it is actually from one of you guys that reached out to me on Instagram. I will have her Etsy shop link down below, but she said she had this bathing suit, this vintage bathing suit that she got from the actual thrift store. So how fun is that? Like literally without even thrifting, I still brought you guys a thrifted moment, like a real thrifted moment. Like Etsy's like thrifting, but this is like thrift thrift. This bathing suit, I had no idea that I was going to love so much. It is this amazing, very 80s or 90s. What are we thinking guys? Like I feel like it gives me 80s vibes with the florals. Then it also gives me very 90s, very Beverly Hills 90210, which you guys you guys know I love and just I mean look at these colors I think I'm now realizing after this video that I live for a diaper booty moment when it comes to bathing suits like I don't want my ass crack out I don't want my asshole exposed I want my whole booty covered and then sub but I do love this kind of like V cut so Let's throw it on. Okay, wow. Like I said, guys, this was a seriously special suit because it is from one of you beautiful ass queens and it's my favorite fucking swimsuit of the whole entire video. So like I said, she got this at the thrift store and we need to just like pay it some mind for a minute. Look at this high waist. Look at this V cut. Yes, 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 yes. And I mean, it fits. Like it fits me like a damn glove, which is hilarious since it's the one suit in this whole entire video that I didn't like order myself from a website. Incredible. Like this was made to be on my body in Los Angeles, living out my best 90210 original, obvi, not the reboot, dream. Take me to the peach pit. We are making our way over to the Beverly Hills Beach Club. I can't get enough of this. This is the best bathing suit. This will be the first one I bust out out of quarantine. Oh, this is like everything I wanted that green bathing suit to be fit wise. And this just hits it. Oh my gosh. This is one of those dancing and shimmying and just like having a good ass time bathing suits because these colors are amazing. These colors are amazing. Look, I just want to walk around my room in this. Sorry about my Ikea dresser that is broken. I'm getting a new one on Facebook Marketplace. Moving on. Okay, so obviously the verdict is that we love this one. Um, obviously when it comes to thrifting bathing suits, do each their own, do you. I am fine with it. I washed this, I sanitized it, I did all the things I needed to do to feel comfortable putting it on my 
Vagine. But this really makes me want to just go thrift so many bathing suits once the thrift stores open back up. Okay, we are moving on to the brands now. This is the first one. This is a neon bathing suit and I do not want to butcher the brand's name at all so I will put it right here. But I found them actually on Instagram a while back. They have been written up by like every single fashion digital publication there is. So I kind of just wanted to like try out the hype for you guys. So it says right here on the site that the fabric for the suits is made from 100% regenerated materials. They use ocean waste such as sunken fishing nets and pre-consumer waste products, things people might throw away in production and turn them into dreamy, luxurious textiles. It says they're working on becoming a fully sustainable brand and one of their goals is to completely eliminate plastics from their footprint over the next two years. So that is a vibe that I can get down with. I find it really hard to find sustainable brands that kind of are my vibe, like my aesthetic. Like they usually are a bit more muted down, which just like is not me. So to find one that was making like cool retro styles and like cool ass colors, I was very into it. So I really wanted to try this one because it just reminded me of like a classic 90s like supermodel bikini. I also wanted to try a bottom that was less high-waisted, which is very much so out of my comfort zone. As you guys can tell from the last two suits, I live for a high-waisted moment, like I said. This is a little bit skimpier and out of my comfort zone, but I did want to say in regards to sizing, they only go up to an extra large, which is not like, you know, the best. It is not ideal. It is not quite inclusive, but I did reach out to the brand to see if they have any plans on extending their sizing. So we will see what they say and let's try this puppy on. Ugh. Okay, queen. So I am not here to expose my entire asshole to you guys. So I'm not even going to turn around. Um, this bathing suit. I really, really, really do like it. I really like the color. I really like, like I'm trying to get down with the cut. I wanted to do like bathing suits in this video. They were all kind of different cuts. So this is more of like a low rise and like cheeky situation. But it's really cute. I just want to talk about sizing for a second. I did a small in the top and it's still quite a bit too big for me. I don't know if I needed an extra small. I'm not sure. And then these are actually a medium in the bottoms and they are so tiny. Like definitely to me fit more like a small, maybe even like an extra small. I don't know. I tend to struggle when it comes with bottoms and not if I should get a small or a medium. I battled that one ordering this suit, so so happy I went with the medium because the smalls like wouldn't have made it into this video. Yeah, this one is out of my comfort zone. It is cut completely different than any bathing suit I own. It's very like 90s supermodel vibe, so I'm trying to like channel that. I'm trying to channel like a boatload of confidence and hopefully I'll eventually wear it out and about, but yeah, they're sizing a little bit interesting, especially also considering they only go to an extra large and this is the medium. <laughs> like I just don't know about that, but I love the color. I'm living for the neon and I absolutely love what it looks like styled with these pants the brown and the neon absolutely yes this is something I would completely wear since I can't necessarily like hit the pool or the beach although I am not much of a beach gal I don't really get down with the sand all up in my crevasses but yeah I'll definitely be sporting this around town as a top with like a little track jacket I'm just I'm here for it super cute onto the last suit. Okay, so not perfect, but not the worst. Like I'm down with it, but I'm not obsessed. Something I am obsessed with, however, is this last swimsuit that I'm sharing with you guys. This is from the brand You Swim, which so many of you guys suggested to me in terms of sustainability and size inclusivity. So I actually reached out to You Swim to see a little bit more about them as a brand, and they ended up sending me this swimsuit from their new summer 2020 collection that is so damn hot, so damn fire, so damn sexy. Like I am obsessed with all of it. I ended up getting this one in this purple color and I ended up getting the really high-waisted pair. Their swimsuits are ethically woven, dyed, and cut in England. And no sweatshops here. Absolutely yes. So basically the super stretchy fabric that they use for their suits is so that one size kind of fits all, which I know we do not like hearing at all, but this one like actually does somehow. This one suit fits bodies from a size two to 14. So I'm gonna pop up their Instagram here because they are a brand that doesn't just like talk the talk, but walks the walk. Like when brands talk about size inclusivity, I wanna see it in their Instagram. I wanna see it displayed in the imagery that they put on their website. And when I reached out, they actually did let me know that they've added support for two extra sizes this year. And that they're planning to innovate their fabric even more in the future so they can include even more sizes. And they want to make swimsuits less about the size of your body and just like who you are right now, your body exactly how it is right now. And obviously that rings true to the beautiful ass queen. So we love that. So let's try it on. Okay. So this was the suit that I was the most excited to like physically try on my body because obviously it's the one that's meant to fit multiple different sizes.
sizes and I think that is wildly interesting. Anyway, I went with this like very high-waisted cut and like high-waisted all-around cut and goddamn, let me just tell you guys, this is the most comfortable bathing suit I've ever had on in my life and that is like hand to Freddie Mercury himself. I am not lying. This is so soft. This is amazing. The fabric is, I mean, obviously it has to be so stretchy since it fits so many sizes, but like I could like make it into a one piece. I'm just, I'm so comfortable in this. I would be so comfortable to literally just like wear this around, doing whatever I wanted to do, eating an ice cream, eating a slice of pizza, dancing at the party, literally anything. I'm down to do it in this suit. Oh, I just want to give you guys like a closer up look at how cool this fabric looks, like the ribbedness. It is so incredibly soft to the touch. I could just like rub my titties all day. So personally, I've never owned like a super high-waisted bikini, one that like covered my entire stomach. It's interesting because I've tried them on in the past and they felt not comfortable and like not flattering. And this one, just the fabric they use and the way that it's cut, it just lays on your body perfectly. It moves with your body perfectly. And I literally love the idea so much of having Having a swimsuit or having one swimsuit or a few swimsuits that you have for years and years and years and that you can wear as your body fluctuates. I think that is incredibly amazing. Plus, I have never worked with a brand whose literal only guidelines to me to show the swimsuit was be natural and do not edit your body at all. Like, we just want to see it in your natural state and like, hey baby, this is my natural state, three months in quarantine, getting down to the get down, going a wee bit mad, but still looking cute AF in this bathing suit. I love it. If I could say one bathing suit out of this whole video that I would literally recommend recommend to every single one of you, it would be this one, or at least this brand, because they have lots of different cuts, but I'm telling you, this high waisted one is, it's a party. I love it. And you guys know for us beautiful ass queens, a swimsuit has to pass the shimmy test, and you swim, you swim dead. Okay, so the garment rack is getting there, which means that we have neared the end of the video. We have gotten to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it could make you just get like a little bit more excited about swimwear, or at least like if you're not quite there yet, I hope that this video could at least like remind you that you're amazing exactly the way that you are. Your body is beautiful just the way that it is. But again, I don't even want to put the focus on our bodies. I want to put the focus on us expressing ourselves creatively, wearing whatever we want to wear. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what your favorite suit of the haul was, what you're most excited for for summer. I know we are all like feeling maybe kind of like this about summer because I mean, it's been a weird ass spring. Anything, just leave some fabulous ass vibes in the comments. I am so excited for next week. I have so many awesome fashion videos. I'm going to an estate sale this weekend and of course I'm filming it. I've been holding on to an immense amount of online thrifted things to share with you guys next week. So if you are not subscribed already, make sure to hit subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Missy Eleni for the daily morning dance parties. Do not forget that you're a beautiful ass queen for one damn second. Don't let anyone convince you any different. You're amazing. You're special. You rock all the socks in the damn box. I love you guys so much and I will see you back here next week. Peace. Peace, love and chemise. You guys didn't even know I had green pants on the whole time. Bye.